Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. In your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his exact feelings about you. I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. His exact feelings about you. I will share with you all the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. And take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally here to your card, the Father of Cups. Let me just point out that the cup energy does represent water and it represents the emotions. So here you're looking at Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in the reading. The sensitive, mysterious, emotional, Water zodiac signs can be seen in the sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. And specifically here, his exact feelings about you are that you're very strong emotionally, and you are able to control your emotions. He's not able to read you as much as he could before. You are no longer here with your heart on your sleeve because you feel like, you know, the more that you gave emotionally, the less you received. So you are protecting your heart here. You're very strong, very mature now. Not telling so much, not so much oversharing with, you know, how you feel about him. You're keeping a lot of things hidden. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His exact feelings about you. What are his exact feelings? And you have here the nine of coins. The coin energy represents earth and it represents physical energy. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Seen in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart. The coin energy, the nine of coin energy. This is about how, you know, um, which is coming true for you. This is about how you're on this path, this journey of abundance and good health. And these are the characteristics that he is noticing about you. Okay, you're taking care of your physical self more. You are you appear to him to be even more attractive than from when he first laid eyes on you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings. I think I want to use a different deck. I am being called to this card deck here. And you have walk each other home. Yeah, this is heavily connected to the emotions. You know, about him wanting to be closer to you, knowing that you have gotten closer to yourself emotionally, it's making you even more like mysterious to him. He wants a bond now because you know it's the energy that you have because you are bonding more with who you are, aligning with your greater self, giving yourself that self love and self care. This is something, this is how he sees himself with you now. And hoping that it's not too late for him to be this way with you, knowing that, you know, you can have someone to walk you home. He sees you in like a relationship connection with someone else as well, feeling like maybe you will find someone better than him. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his exact feelings about you you have here the three of pentacles earth physical energy 
This is about you connecting with someone else. He feels like maybe you can be, could be, you know, too much for him on a different level than he is right now. Even physically, he's he's kind of concerned about maybe he doesn't make enough money for you. You know, he needs to step up his game because this is the thing. You have raised your standards. You know your self-worth. You know your value. And so with you knowing your value and your self-worth, it's really about, you know, what you are allowing in your life. And he knows that you're not allowing anything less than what you currently feel like you deserve. You, you want expansion, growth teamwork. You want someone that you can grow with, collaborate with, you know, and because you are working on your skills, you want someone that can match you in that way. And that's what he has recognized. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings. And you have here Gemini and with the Gemini energy, air energy, Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, his birth chart or your birth chart. This is about communication, collaboration. See, he knows that you can associate with anyone that you want. You can have the partner of your dreams if you like, but every, for you, it's about communication. It's about connection. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, he's very concerned, like, who you're dating, who you're going out on an excursion with, uh, what are you doing day to day. And he's watching your social media pages with a private account as well. He sees that you're versatile here. You're able to move in different circles, connect with different people. He sees that you have like this greater perspective about life now, a greater perspective about who you are, which is why you have this glow up energy with the nine of coins. Your wishes are coming true. This is a high vibrational energy reading for you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings you have here look at the high priestess absolutely this is about mysteries secrets your intuition and trusting yourself thank you spirit i love this for you so he really feels like you're hiding something not only are you are hiding your emotions he feels but he feels like you may be hiding how you really feel about him or maybe hiding your the um your interest in like leveling up, like connecting with somebody that's doing more for themselves, that's doing better for themselves. And it's not because you want what this person has. It's just because you are on this wavelength now. You are doing a lot better. And you know that he can do better for himself. So you expect a lot from this person if you're going to co connect with him. And he knows that. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings. And you have your mother. I love the mother showing up. The moon rules over the mother. It also represents intuition. So this is nice confirmation. Let me just say your reading is extremely accurate. And I am so grateful how the energy and the cards just aligned with each other and told a complete story here. And with the mother energy, this is about um, the, the moon rules over the mother and the moon rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is significant here in the reading as well. This is how he sees you as like being nurturing patient, having unconditional love. You have a joy in giving birth to life here. And so and that's how he feels about you. And beautiful number one, 
And this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and I definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. His exact feelings about you. I will share with you the energies that come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the Mother of Pentacles. And with the Mother of Pentacles energy, the Pentacle energy represents earth and physical energy. Yeah, and he feels like you're very nurturing. He feels like you are there for them. For him, you will support him. You have had his back. And he also feels like you'll always be there for him. And with the Mother of Pentacle energy, this is also about you being very intuitive and very conscious about this person and his behavior. Thank you, Spirit. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in the top placements of the birth chart. His birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings. And you have here, loss makes you whole. Yeah, so I can definitely see there's a disconnection here. A communication, emotional disconnection in this relationship connection. And so he feels like you're doing things now to better your life. You're in the self-care journey, taking care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. And you're really trying to ignore the discontent that's in this relationship connection. Because some things you're just not going to keep doing. You're not going to continue to play the same games, getting the same result. You can't force him to do what he does not want to do. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And his exact feelings about you. His exact feel Gemini. Look at Gemini showing up. Communication here. You're very aware of what's happening. He knows you're aware. He knows you are tuned in to his mood swings, his moodiness. One day he's like this. The next day he's a different way. Warm, then cold, then warm, then cold. And you're just tired of trying to figure him out. He knows that you have tapped into, you know, how he moves. You've tapped into the way that he does things. And it's just something you're not willing to, you know, um, you're not willing to sacrifice your energy playing games. Gemini is significant in the top placements of the birth chart as well. And you have here, look at the hanged man energy. See, you're seeing things from a new perspective. He knows now that the rain is go gone and you can see clearly now. You can see his shade. You can see when he's moving funny or, or if he's moving right. You, you know when he's honest or if he's lying. You see things from a new perspective now. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings. And look at here, Prince. And with the Prince energy. Yeah, you know what? He recognized that you have this romantic charm and potential for power here. You know, and so it concerns him. He feels like there's some competition waiting in the wings. You know, there's this divine masculine energy ready to just like sweep you off your feet because you're charming, you're alluring, you're seductive, you're very attracted to him. And so this is where he feels like maybe he is falling short here. He's not the prince that you thought he was. And he recognizes that you are tuned into that fact. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And his exact feelings about you. What are his exact feelings about you? Ooh, the Ace of Swords. I love the Ace of Swords showing up because the sword energy re it represents Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Yes, social energy here, connections. The Ace of Swords energy is about a new conflict. He's worried about you cutting him off here. 
you know, but you're, you're walking here. You're wanting mental clarity over this relationship connection and you may cut him off, you know, just so that you can have a peace of mind, inner peace, wholeness. Thank you, spirit. Communication, that's the issue. He knows that you are aware that, yes, he's fully capable of communicating his feelings, but there's something very back and forth with him where he's not willing to work on his communicative abilities. Thank you, Spirit. I love this energy for you. Let's get more insight. And what are his exact feelings? What are his exact feelings? Oh, and look at the death card. This is about putting an end to this relationship connection as it is, putting an end to it. I love the death card showing up immediately after the Ace of Swords. There, were, there are conflicts in this energy, and this is about ending something so that you can have a new beginning, you know? He wants a new beginning with you, but he... He has not realized that that new beginning starts with him. It starts with his consciousness, the way that he thinks. And by him changing the way that he thinks, he'll change his, his emotional state. And by him changing his emotional state, he'll be able to connect with you emotionally in a totally new and different way. But you're like, hey, I have to start over. I have to do something different to get a different result. And he recognizes that strength within you. You know, he feels alive. You're saying it's time to move on. It's time for a fresh start and a new beginning here. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, if you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. His exact feelings about you. I will share with you the energies that come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy and naturally draws you here to the high priestess. And this is about your intuition. This is about you trusting yourself as it does relate to this relationship connection. It's also about mysteries and secrets. He feels like you're hiding something from him. He feels like you're hiding your true feelings. And also he feels like there's competition waiting in the wings with a male figure, a third a party. He feels like you don't see him the way that he wants you to see him. And maybe he's not good enough for you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings. What's happening, Spirit, in this relationship? Connection. What is happening? Love leads you home. And this is how you feel. You know, you know when you're loved. You know what love is. Love is liberating. It's uplifting. You feel good when you're loved. He knows that what he's giving is short of true love. It's short of loyalty, appreciation, dedication, and you've tuned into it, especially with this intuition of the high priestess energy showing up. Uh, he knows that you know when he's playing games, being shady, telling lies, you know, full of himself, trying to manipulate the narrative here in this relationship connection, you're not going for it. You're the high priestess energy. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. His exact feelings about you. You have the 12th house, surrender. The number 12 is significant here in a birthday, birth month, or birth year. In his chart or your chart here. And with the 12th house, the 12th house rules over the zodiac sign of Pisces, representing secrets and mysteries. So I love how the 12th house shows up here in correlation with the high priestess. I just want to say, starting out, your reading is extremely accurate. Thank you, spirit. And so with the 12th house showing up here, he knows that you know what he's thinking. This is about his subconscious mind as well. This is about compassion. Yes, you have compassion. Yes, you are empathetic. Yes, you are there for him. Yes, but he brings a lot of baggage into this connection. 
and you're like just really over it. You're on this journey here of healing, healing your mind, body, and spirit, and really tapping into that greater purpose for yourself. I feel like he definitely has some guilt going on because he knows exactly what he is doing to trigger you, to frustrate you, ghosting you, making you want to, you know, making you want to want him more by cutting off his attention. So let's get more insight. He knows exactly what he's doing. If you think he does not, he does. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. And what are his exact feelings about you? His exact feelings about you. You have here, look at the emperor. He's strategic in his moves. Look at the insight coming straight through. He's very strategic, knows exactly what he's doing with the emperor energy. But see, he knows now that you're on top of it. You're on top of it. You're a leader now, you know, with your emotions were tapping into what's going on. And he feels like you're planning something. He feels like you're planning to move forward. You're planning to make a move. Are you moving on with the relationship? Are you moving on from the relationship? He knows there's something going on with you. I de I'm definitely picking up a father figure in this relationship connection or someone, or he may be a father to your child or he has asked you to be a father, but I'm picking up a father figure in this connection. Thank you, Spirit. A father is very influential on what's going on with him. Let's get more insight. He sees you as being very responsible, that's for sure. You're going to tell him exactly how you feel and not leave him wondering the way that he has left you wondering. Look at the Four of Swords, self-care, <laughs> self-healing, self-assurance. I'm so grateful for the confirmation coming up with what Spirit just gave us earlier. This is about balance for you, communication. This is how you're communicating with him now. Like You're like, hey, I'm over it, boy, bye. I am unbothered, seriously. And with the Four of Swords energy, he recognizes this energy within you. You're retreating now. It's time for rest and renewal. You look a lot younger because you have pulled your energy source away from you, you know, and this is about you recovering now, you know. You've had this relationship is, is like a challenge for you, and you, you don't, you feel like you have to fight just to be with this connection, and Spirit is encouraging you to know that, no, if it's right for you, it'll be easy, fleet easy, breezy, flowing. You don't have to figure out anyone. Let's get more insight. What are his exact feelings about you? It's like he's a puzzle. You have to try to figure this person out. So that means, well, student, yep, you're learning. And I was just going to say that. That means that you'll learn lessons. And the most valuable lessons that you're learning now are the lessons about yourself learning how powerful you are, tapping into self-love, self-assurance, self-confidence, and self-respect. Yes, unconditional love for who you truly are here. This is about you being humble now. See, yeah, that student energy correlates nicely here with the Four of Swords. You, are, you have humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning, knowing that this relationship connection is a lesson, and that's perfectly fine with you. Because you know that it is allowing you to grow in other areas of your life that are very valuable. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His exact feelings about you. What are his exact feelings? Ooh, <laughs> the Knight of Wands. He has definitely a strong attraction to you. This person has a bit of a lusty nature. Yeah, I'm just going to say it the way it comes through. This is the energy, okay? This is the energy. He sees you as being very free-spirited, very sensual and alluring as well, very sexy. That's how he sees you. The Knight of Wands energy, that wand energy represents creativity. And the fire zodiac sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are in the top places, placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And with the Knight of Wands energy, he sees you as being very creative. And again, this is about your intuition. You're tapped in. You are not slow. You are just going with the flow, okay? But, and he knows it. He knows you have caught up to what's happening with him, the games, the manipulation, the emotional 
you know, <laughs> the emotional control that he thinks he has, but he doesn't because you pulled your, that energy back. You, you, you own your own power. So beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. And I am sending you lots of love and good energy.